All right, everybody. Hello. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another X-Ray House Show. Thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is John B. Jones. My friends call me JBJ. I host a show on X-Ray Thursdays. All right, everybody. From, I host a show on X-Ray Thursdays from three to four. Hey, everybody. And uh, welcome to another X-Ray House Show. Thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is. I'm John hearing B. some Jones. delay, so I'm just gonna uh, my call take off me my JBJ. headphones. For a I minute. host a show so on X-ray Thursdays. We are thrilled to be here. We're thrilled that you are here. From uh, if you aren't that familiar with X-ray FM, from three to four, our mission right? is to and hold a microphone up uh, to the best yeah, and most distinctive of Portland. We want we to build a culturally relevant well, center for ideas, so music, gonna, and creativity uh, in service of a more open media and a more just community. Uh, you can find us uh, online at xray.fm. Uh, you can also find us on your FM dial at, at uh, 107.1 and 91.1. We want to build this house show series aims to bring people virtually together during this time of physical distancing. Uh, our goal here is to directly support the artists. And thanks to our sponsors, Wanamaker Estate Vineyards, Falcon Art Community, Brian Wanamaker and Dave Dahl. We are able tonight to guarantee each artist who plays uh, at the house show, actually all the artists that are playing at our house shows are guaranteed payment for their service. Uh, we would also encourage you uh, in the course of this evening to pitch in, if you can, through the link at the bottom of your screen, bit.ly or bit.ly x-ray house shows. Uh, you can also find the links at, uh, at, at the YouTube and also the Facebook chats. And, and uh, please also utilize the chat we would function in, in youtube you and facebook make evening, make some comments post some questions for the artists through the and uh, some of them will be read during this broadcast so uh tonight's lineup is uh, karina rep uh, and tim perry of ages and ages karina is going to play a set first we'll do a short q a after that following the q a uh, tim will play a set we'll take a break uh, in comments, between for Q&A, and, and then Tim will play a second and, uh, set. Some of them will be read Let's get started here with Karina so, Rep. Uh, tonight's lineup she uh, Rep. was a Portlander for many, many years. She started her musical career on Hush Records, we'll a, a small Q &A local label here in town. You've probably Q &A. seen her on Portlandia, we'll and uh, her most recent uh, record came out in 2018. It is called... Uh, how a fantasy will kill us all, people and people. Proud to present to you, Karina Rep. Hello, thank you. Thank you. Everything good? So quiet and deep in your hands, 
simply stares on me. You're so quiet, deep in your hands, they say something, yeah. And I'll be here if you need, I know we're not that close. And every time you pour it out, no one ever knows. This is a new song. I called it my folk song for a while um, before I gave it a name. Because I don't usually write folk songs. I mean, what is a folk song?
you for thanks for listening thanks to x-ray for having me this is um, a very unique experience I was just like watching a hummingbird <laughs> flying around outside while I'm I mean this is my normal zone I guess this is where I play all the time so it's just funny to be doing it and people secret people I have no idea who you are Everybody's doing well, hanging in there. All right.
shore You were like a lock and key that I still have fun And so my heart will set sail And forget about the shore It's time to leave a secret out song every show it's probably one of my favorite songs um it's called release me and thanks to tim perry my dear friend from ages and ages for playing yeah and then and then after this i guess maybe there's gonna be a whole lot all right
Karina, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. That was fun. <laughs> so uh, for those of you that didn't hear my intro, Karina's most recent record is called How a Fantasy Will Kill Us All. And it was basically the beginning in a, in a series of moves away from Portland. Uh, so you're in LA now, Karina. How, 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 do, you, do you miss us? Oh, I miss how, how is that going? How what's what's LA life like? I mean, I get to be outside all year round, which is nice. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Uh it's just the it's the weather. I mean, I get to be outside all year I mean all year long. It's the best. And I live like in a really quiet place on a hill in a really beautiful little neighborhood and um it's wonderful but i miss portland every day it's it's where i grew up and it's it's basically it's in my blood so but portland is my is my i consider it my home it'll always be home to me what are some specific things that you miss the forest yeah i have literally like rented a car i've landed in pdx rented a car and drove straight to larch mountain wow. and like pulled off on the side of the road and just walked into the woods and just stood there and inhaled deeply <laughs> That is a totally true story. <laughs> they don't have forests in uh, no, it's harder to get to. You can find you can find some there's amazing nature here. It's just not the same. It's not that like dense, rich, moist, you know, 
forest. It's not the same. But we have the desert. I love the desert too, so it's cool. Do you have any idea or have you asked yourself, why, why is LA, why do they have so many palm trees? It's not, how did that happen? It's not tropical, you know? Like I just associate palm trees with a, you know, a tropical climate. Well, they sure do look cool. They do look cool. cool. Um, I don't know. I mean, it is, it can be, it can be tropical. It's not as wild as like, let's say Hawaii, like the weather there can be way more temperamental. Um, I guess we have that a little bit, but, but not really. I don't know. I heard somebody just brought them here and, and that's probably true. Someone just brought them and someone thought, someone thought that they were cool. I was just like, yeah, we should just plant a whole bunch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah why not? So what's, uh, what's on the, what's in the future for you as far as uh, musical stuff? Well, I have to, um, I have to make an album. I just, now that I've been quarantined the last two months and not working my day job, I just cannot stop writing songs. Um, and I already finished writing an album last year and then I ended up doing a bunch of touring instead of making an album. So then this year I was like, okay, I'm gonna make an album. And then I wrote a whole new batch of stuff and I'm like, okay, now I'm gonna make an EP because I already have the album I need to make. And then now I'm already like, well, now I have a quarantine EP so I just keep having more and more things to record. Um, I have, though, gotten a handful of stuff to try to start doing some stuff on my own. Um, and then hopefully maybe do some stuff, send some stuff via satellite, you know, to people to be able to add instruments and whatnot. When do you think we'll start seeing the, the fruits of those labors? Hopefully by the fall. I mean, I, I really want to have a completed record, at least a record and an EP by the end of the year. That would be my absolute dream. Well, it's yeah. been such, such a treat to uh, have you on uh, as part of the X-Ray House shows. Uh, I've been a fan since uh, since the boat called Hope. Like, yeah, yeah, since 1999. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I love those two fawning records as well. So, oh. Yeah, so uh, just great stuff and can't wait to hear what's next. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Now that's Tim Perry. Hey, uh, that whole intro was botched and that that's on me and I want to apologize. L let me kind of reset if you just tuned in. The, the, this, is a, this is a house show series that's sponsored by X-Ray FM. We are a uh, Portland community radio station. And um, all the, uh, we're, we're making sure that the artists that appear tonight and actually on the whole entire series are uh, getting paid for their, for their art and their performance. And um, you are encouraged to help as well. If you go to the YouTube, maybe you're, maybe you're watching the YouTube stream. There's also a Facebook stream. Uh, and there, there are links that X-Ray is posting where you can uh, also donate uh, to the artists that are performing here. I wanna make sure that we thank our sponsors uh, Wanamaker Estate Vineyards, the Falcon Art Community, Brian Wanamaker, and Dave Dahl. And um, I want to bring up virtually our next guest, Tim Perry. Uh, he, <laughs> he's, he is waving to all of us uh, from his home in Portland. He is a uh, uh, a co-founder, maybe, of uh, Ages and Ages. Yes. Uh, and um, and their most recent record came out last year. It's called Me, You, They, We. So thrilled to have here with us tonight, Tim Perry of Ages and Ages. Thank you. Thanks for having me. This is awesome and weird. Every morning I wake up and think, this is awesome and weird. <laughs> Jesus. Sometimes I think, you know, what if a global pandemic all of a sudden struck? Wouldn't that be crazy? And here we are. You know you're only using progress to validate your care. 
approach to living life in excess Ignoring any trace that count as your objectives but there's nothing in this world worthy of your murderous mind no there's nothing in this world that's worthy of your murderous mind oh no i stop to watch the endless sequence orchestrated movements I reached my peak I lost my patience soon enough to salvage most of my conviction but there's nothing in this world that's worthy of your murderous mind There's nothing in this world that's worthy of your murderous mind, oh no. Please God, give me all the strength that I need to pull myself out of this bed. And I promise not to carry any grace that I need Or doubt myself instead Out in the world is life Feel as if I'm naked Overthinking everything I say before I say it I don't want to make it worse But that's what I'm afraid of And I really want to go outside And I feel my beneath me The door behind my back And all the sounds of summer calling me from where they're at Now don't it seem so simple when your guard is always down Yeah don't it seem so easy Well it isn't that easy now And I know it's all in focus Somewhere I haven't been But I haven't even got the slightest clue where to begin I'd say it all so easy if the words were on my tongue But what's the use in talking when you're so far from everyone? And nothing's left but awkwardness I'd will myself to leave somehow I want it to be easy But it isn't that easy now strange thing playing I mean obviously I play music a lot in my own house uh, but uh, doing this and then there's like I don't know nobody shouts out like play free bird or whatever some whatever dumb thing that people sometimes say it almost it just feels very different but it's nice I want to give a shout out to my mom who's probably watching this um, also my sister, Katie, my brother, Jordan. Let's not forget Carrie. And uh, any friends that are tuned in. And also Karina Rep for playing. She's a dear old friend. Um, I love her very much. She's so cool. She lives down in LA. It's great to be able to play a show with her even though neither of us had to drive 20 hours. It could be the news I see Making a mess of me Maybe I'm wrong I can't help but wonder though If I should have been aware of this all along Get up, get up, I know you're just fucking around Enough, enough, it's all an act, isn't it? Oh, oh, 
Oh, or am I just day drinking way too much? Not making sense enough, stuck in my head. Caught in the echo chamber, safe in the choir with the rest of my friends. Get up, get up, I know you're just fucking around Enough, enough, it's all an act, isn't it? Oh, 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 Another shout out to somebody I know named Savannah. And what's the internet if not for shout outs? I had 20, 20 visions and still I couldn't see in the end. Running out of room for these meaningless analogies that never made any sense. But oh, I wanted to change it. Separate the fire from flame. As if I could establish a difference, I'd be okay. Curious aversion to change or any passage of time. I made myself oblivious. I didn't want to notice any bloodshot in those eyes. And I know you'd like to replace it. Separate the meaning from the things that never made sense. from pain if we could establish a difference we'd be okay we'll be okay that one's called fire versus flame it's an old song i wrote in a previous band called pseudo six In light of day, we made a move through the rest of darkness that had lost its will to deflect a fight that we had won so easily back when things were getting old. Now, when this happened, I was weighed, I was worn out of some malleable pose I had sworn to never end up in again. As it turns out now, I know that I was strong but still I still I see more and in the fog of what's been had and rehashed the lines still 
like some appeal in my past. Whatever's left, it's yours to take. Have it back. My place was right here all along. But if you ever feel an urge to reflect, or even notice any light that's been shed, I know you'd probably rather wait there instead and hope for how it was before. But still, I. Has that been has that been six? Uh I haven't been counting, man. I've just <laughs> been riding this crazy cloud. Uh you're getting a lot of comments on the uh set selection. So uh, people are really digging the pseudo six stuff that you've been playing. Ah, sweet. Yeah. Figured a little surprise for the nerds. No yeah. offense, nerds. Uh you but also got I a consider myself a strong member. You also got a uh, virtual request for uh, Freebird. I know it's not the same thing as somebody yelling it out, but uh, you know, it, it's there nonetheless. That just made my day. Did you do that? <laughs> then, oh, Katie, good. And then uh, finally, uh, Cassie wrote a couple of weeks ago, I was having some big feelings and I thought, I just need an ages and ages concert. Uh, so she says she's really loving this. Oh, that's, that's really special. We love Cassie. Um, it's the cats you were thinking of. We're thinking lots of cats. No, a kitten that is probably now a full grown adult cat. Cassie, why don't you comment on that at some point? <laughs> send, us a, send us a shot of your cat. Speaking of cats, my cat just needed surgery yesterday to get some, uh, a giant piece of grass removed from her soft palate. Um, wow. She might be parading through here soon. Uh, uh, when we, before the stream started, uh, she was back and forth in front of the camera. It was it was awesome. <laughs> yeah. uh, Checking it out. It's like those uh, webcam feeds, you know, like when when the family's at work. What what are the animals doing? It was kind of like that. Like right, yeah, you really, totally. You really saw who was in charge of the. Right. I don't know if you saw. I you know the the age old attempt to let her out, let her out. You know, because of course that's what she was indicating that she wanted and and then when I opened the door she stood there and <laughs> and she didn't leave because that's that's what cats do oh so uh Tim what's what's quarantine been like for you is it more of the same or what's 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 different about it <laughs> definitely not more of the same um you know probably what everybody's going through uh, lots of different feelings and phases um uh, you know, I have days where I'm, oh, where I'm, uh, you know, trying to be super productive and just like, it, does, it doesn't even matter. Like I had one, a couple nights where I just was fully, fully dedicated to painting the ceilings, uh, which is something that nobody notices. Like nobody walks in your house and says, wow, what, you know, that's, those ceilings look amazing. That's, but yeah. uh, anything to just sort of keep my mind off of things. Um, yeah. And then other days I'm really sad and freaked out and depressed. And then still other days, quite frankly, I, I feel blessed for all the obvious reasons. I haven't been sick yet that I know of, um, unless that one time in January was that, which it was really bad in January. I had a really bad one, but I don't know if, I don't think it was COVID. But anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I, I've been having an amazing time at home and then also being um, in the darkest of dark you know, probably like I said, like a lot of other people. And then you watch the news and, and you see how different people are reacting and, and really bum me out too. 
Thanks for that response. I, I could echo everything that you just said. <laughs> so yeah. that's such a, such a wide range of uh, emotions that you could feel from one day to the next. Uh, it's the gamut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the gamut. Yeah. Um, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you keeping in touch with the rest of the band during this time? Are you guys, do you, is this the time that you get, you know, aspirational other than painting ceilings and maybe like send demos to each other or are you doing any of that? Well, um, a fair amount. Yeah. I mean, definitely keeping in touch with, with lots of people, band included, um, and sharing ideas with them. I think with us, um, we've been at it, you know, you could say we were at it for the tens. We're, we're like one of those bands. Our first record came out in 2011. Our last one came out last year. Um, and so a lot of this is also just kind of checking in with each other as human beings and just kind of trying to figure out where we're at with our own lives and, and what we want to do and how we want to go about doing it. And art and music is always, you know, always part of the picture. But, but you know, how you want that to look or how you want it to be is something that is of constant discussion, which I think is... It's fun, you know, the, the reinventing and the, I don't know, man, it's, it's weird, you know, when you start with an idea and you go with it and then, and then you wake up one morning and you realize this thing that I've been, you know, adhering to is, it, it's not, it's actually maybe not totally me anymore um, because it's been a week or a month or a decade. Uh, so there's a lot of that. There's a lot of us just checking in with each other. So along the same lines, uh, Luke, Luke says uh ages and ages is one of my favorite bands of the last decade thank you so much for doing the show how do you guys deal with the rotating lineup does it make it more exciting or is it super stressful <laughs> well i was told this was only going to be about 30 or 45 minutes this, uh, this is it this the, is it tim last question an honest answer i could write a book to that um how do i deal with it you know at its core i feel like ages has always been you know, we start off very with very communally hearted, and and so, you know, part of the territory was that um, our family, if you will, or our band, our community. I mean, honestly, even the whole album was the whole first album was, and much of the second was was a metaphor for a cult, essentially. It felt like church. I mean, listening to those songs felt like church, really. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like a, a secular kind of. And that's what I was really into back then. I remember one of my friends saw one of our like first promo photos, you know, before we like when we got the them back or whatever, and she was like, I don't know, it looks like churchy. And I was like, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> but she was like, Why do you want that for? Um, but um yeah, I mean this this communal vibe and you know, and, and it's and it's always been about group and group participation and, and all the friends we made along the way. And so in that regard, having a rotating cast has been perfect. And it's it's kind of like I said, at our core who we are. But in terms of logistics, you know, and just like touring and stuff like that and actually trying to like have a cohesive something or other, um, it's a lot of work. It's really hard and it and it it's it's all the things, right? It's rewarding and it's it's beautiful, like knowing all these people and having super, um, you know, intense and, and deep and meaningful relationships with these people that, that go well beyond, you know, just having a beer or two. Um, but it but it also, uh, there's, there's just, boy, there's so much more to being, and anybody can attest to this. Anybody who's in a band who might be watching this can tell you, like there's just so much more to being in a band than just sort of like playing up on stage. Uh, there's a lot of people skills that go along with it. And I'm not sure I'm the best suited for, for that. Sometimes I feel like a big failure, you know what I mean? As far as people skills go and, and just getting everybody happy. But that's real talk. And we thank real you talk for it. Tim Perry. We thank you for it. Thanks, thanks for getting real. Thanks for being willing. Yeah. Hey. It's me. So uh, we'd love to hear some more music, Tim. Okay, well, I'm going to attempt to play a song that that we never play live called Annie Up. And I want to dedicate this to everybody who knows the song um, or anybody who knows the song who might be watching now or later. But I also want to mostly dedicate it to my brother Jordan who has requested the song. Um, and 
I told him, you know, it's hard to play that song live because it doesn't really work with electric guitar. And now here I am and I have no excuse. So that said, I'm probably going to forget all the lyrics and I have to stop midway through because I just psyched myself out. But I'm going to go for it. I see what's in the eyes of the lawless Creeping in through the cracks of my fence I wanna shake them up, I wanna pay them their dues Cause after me they're coming after you But I don't know if I can wait till then Where I'm at, I'm gonna be until the end And with a little unrest, I should've turned around and go Cause they don't believe what they pretend to know While I'm dedicating, this is my dedication to Colin Jenkins, slash, slash, future guilt trip to Colin Jenkins in the event that he's not watching. Because if he is watching, he'll text me about it. And if he's not, crickets. You hear that, Colin? Found a place in the foliage Avoided the rest A steady pulse in my chest I had no grudge to get over And no past to regret Now it was me and the weather And the weather was good In all the naysaying ways Could never cloud my perspective Ain't no reason it should He tried to say I was selfish He told me I was naive He made all kinds of predictions That had no bearing on me And all around me was hearsay 
Till I found a better place in the evergreens Clap, clap I bet you bent on destruction The holes in your blouse, the bitter taste in your mouth And still no sign of redemption No time to figure it out But I was there in your trenches and in that cold, cold place And when I came to my senses I had no effort to face And I bet you think it's fictitious, don't you? You'd say I'm over my head But I got no reason to wait there with ya And all the mother misled it's better under the radar No need to swallow everything you fed And there's an outro that goes with that that I'm not going to even try because it requires full band activity. So props to full band who, uh, you know, without whom I can't do outros such as that and so many more things because they're amazing. And uh, I'm missing them tonight, missing them because, uh, oh God, because they're not here and they can't be here unless, geez, wow, my foot is asleep. I can't even feel it. Uh, okay. So props to everybody in ages um, over the years, the full rotating cast. Um, so many memories, so many good times, so many great people. Uh, thank you for putting up with me. Um, this song is called Demons, appropriately. It's actually called Our Demons. Far off from that shady past, ascending up those stairs, I finally heard a voice of reason. I had not heard in years, despite your efforts to convince me that there wasn't nothing there. I finally faced my intuition after all. But I remember waking up and walking through that snow with you. My mind was almost at it. And all that winter cold for the sake of preservation. Well, I decided not to notice that my interests played no part in your design. We're not so different, you and I. You got your reasons for avoiding your demons, and I know I got. So watch out for those predators They got fear inside their hearts They're sure to strike you from a distance And tear your flesh apart But then get angry Cause you're tracking all your blood across their floor Well, we don't need those contradictions anymore We're not so different, you and I You got your reasons for avoiding your demons And I know I got We're 
we're not so different, you and I. Oh, oh we're not so different, you and I. You got your reasons for avoiding your demons, and I know I got. dedicate that very last chord to my stepdad, Carrie, who, uh, who always told me, hey, you gotta end it with mine. You have to say mine at the end. Every time I play that without saying mine at the end, I just think, ha, ha, ha. For all those times. Um, should I play so, so freely? I think I'll try. I don't, hmm. This is definitely a group song, I'm gonna try it. I guess a couple people texted me when all this started and said, man, a lot of these songs are about, are about isolation, all of them. Um, most of them are about willful isolation, so it's a little bit different than this, but but specifically about isolation. This one is about finding freedom in that isolation. When I see, see, see that brightness And I'm so, so, so reminded Of the reasons we departed And our court is all around us And I call, call, call your namesake and she reach, reach out to meet me And we talk that talk so freely And of course, all around we're better off In isolation And being lost with all the Don't you take, take too much stock in All their cold, cold calculations Anymore, that's not our problem And a court is all around us And we'll leave that gate wide open For the ones we told so often Gotta make, make up for something parts that I never sang, which is fun. It's fun to do that. This is going to be, um, it's going to be my last song. Uh, uh, unless anybody has just one more request for me to play Freebird or more Cowbell. We can do that too. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Apparently my mom suggested unsung songs, which I didn't practice that one. Plus that's, yeah, that's such a, yeah.
Sorry, Dave, I can't, I can't remember the chords of that song. Um, all right. Jim, that was amazing. Hey, thanks a lot. For me, that was the perfect way to go out. Uh, no, no nostalgia. That was my intro to Ages. That was my first Ages and Ages song. Ah, oh, sweet. Yeah, that's that's the first one we ever wrote. Seriously, really? Yeah, yeah. That's the that's the. Uh, oh, hey Ray. <laughs> um, <laughs> little guy. Um, yeah, I, I. That's that. That's the song. That's a post pseudo six song that, that yeah I wrote that and I was like you know this would sound really good with a lot of people, um, and and that that was that sure did that was the birth of something, the birth of something yeah of the night yeah, well, uh, <laughs> Tim thank you so much for <laughs> he's gonna get it man he's gonna <laughs> dig deep and get, get it. it. Keep digging, you're gonna get it. I think I think Ray is an inspiration to us all, just letting us know never give up. Never <laughs> give up. 
Thank you so much, Tim. Yeah, thanks for having me. This has been excellent. I really appreciate and I'm honored to have been asked to do this. So thanks, thanks again. Uh, thanks to Karina as well. Karina, I love your your back the backdrop. I love your home. I love that lamp. Uh, yeah, thanks, Karina. Fun to look at that space while you played. I want to thank everybody involved in making this stream possible. Uh, Chase Spross handled all the the video aspects and uh, the rest of the X-ray staff. I want to thank everybody, all of you that uh, tuned in to the stream tonight. Uh, it's it's not too late to give. Uh, there's some links in the comments section of both the YouTube and the Facebook live event. I wanna thank Allison and Pat, who were the first donators this evening, the first uh, first people to make a financial contribution. Uh, and uh, we will see you on Friday for the next one. I believe uh, it's, I believe it's Luz Elena from Mi La Bamba and uh, Ryan Oxford. Uh, of uh, Mama Bird Recording Company. And uh, please don't forget to follow us on Facebook. That way you don't miss out on any of the details of the, the rest of the house series. I believe there's seven more shows to go. So um, please follow us on uh, Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. Uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And um, we, we've got a, a regular newsletter you, you can subscribe to as well from our website. And um, for your mobile phone, there's there's an app. Uh, there's always an app, X-ray, the X-ray mobile app. Uh, anything else, Tim, before we say goodbye? Oh, just thanks. If anybody is still here that was watching, thank you so much for commenting and all that stuff. It, it's excellent. It may it make it really makes it fun, and uh, I'm just really happy that pe some people tuned in, and this has been a very nice thing. Thank, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> thank you just for bringing us a lot of thank, water. Thank you for bringing us a little closer together with with uh, with the live music. If uh, what's the best way for people to find out more about Ages and Ages and um, the the musical stuff that you're doing? Uh, you know, that's a great question. I guess you know we make the occasional Instagram posts and and our website. Um, but you know, the best way I think is just to listen, you know, just to just to grab a record or or um you know, however however you watch or listen to music is is always appreciated. So and that that's enough connection. Great. Well thanks again. Thank you. Thanks everyone. <laughs>